there was one of the worst days in recent history, probably post Ukraine war. The index was down a lot today, but it does not really reflect what happened in the broader market. All my readings, US as well as India, went for a toss today. Two reasons primarily. The US CPI data perhaps was expected to be a lot worse than it actually was. And there were already a lot of shots in the market, just like my forecast in place, which got covered rapidly. And the markets in US and many stocks had a run up. As a result, Bitcoin and gold were down. Crude in anticipation of not so bad economic environment was up a bit. Now that should have reflected in India a little. However, Indian markets are right now spooked by the action of SEBI plus RBI on the NBFC pack. That is one. Second is that mutual fund stress test actually became a live test today where the entire situation of people unwinding their positions in small caps, mid caps, also via mutual funds went live. It has been happening since last two or three days and has been gathering pace continuously. Retail has been booking profits or getting out of stocks. There are two or three events coinciding right now. One is on 15th, the stress test results are out. Second is there was a date given by Supreme Court to SBI to submit the data for the electoral bond, which is over now. The advanced tax date of 15th is arriving last one for the year. People need to submit the taxes and some of them may need money. Also, this is probably the best time for tax loss harvesting or maybe booking profits a bit. For the simple reason when markets are tanking, you would want to sell, book profit loss, whatever you have right now and buy 5-10% down. If markets fall further, you make a lot of money. If markets go up further, you will probably wait for the right moment, maybe in a week, two weeks, one month, two months down the line. Specifically in today's market, the worst impact was actually on the stocks which have run up a lot in the past six months to one year. All PSUs, including public sector banks, were in for some hammering. Large companies like Power Finance Corporation, REC, which had actually become nearly 3x, 4x in size in the last one and a half year, they were down 7-8%. Probably the only large stock standing tall today was ITC. Yesterday's news timing was slightly wrong. It seemed like that transaction happened yesterday. However, the transaction actually took today where the British tobacco company uh, actually sold off their stake. I have no idea why the market is finding it so positive that it is going to be good because there will be liquidity and all because most of that stake has been bought by institutions. Retail can't possibly absorb 4% kind of ITC stocks in a single day. So I have no idea what the euphoria in ITC was about today at all. I think it will cool down in the days to come. In the larger stocks, probably the only people standing a bit were the top three bank stocks, HDFC, ICICI and Kotak, roughly between 0.1 to 0.5% ups. Now, how do we handle these situations? Just two or three small, small inputs based upon my experience. See, no one would know till what levels market will fall. Right now, the confidence is as low as it was high probably last week. There will be very low demand in general because of retail participation. SIPs will probably come in next month after first. I don't personally see a lot of new SIPs getting created or some people buying extraordinarily right now. However, in my opinion, right now may not be a bad time to assess the cash positions you might have and maybe start investing about say 15-20% after every 5-10% in the stocks that you follow. One thing which will happen is a lot of small caps which are not fundamentally very strong, they may fall 50-60-70% also if this fall continues. I have seen personally stocks literally become 90-95% down when markets fall because they are typically 5% circuits, there is no buyer, there is circuit for literally 10, 15, 20 days continuously at times. Think of a large 40,000 crore company like Tata Investments, which has gone up so much ever since the Tata Sun's listing was announced. Last two days, it has been hitting lower circuit of 5%. Literally no buyers for a 40,000 crore company. What to buy in this market? Think of fundamentally solid stocks. Don't just try to average down what you already hold. Look for the best companies right now, which will do well in the next year, next two years, next five years. Put money, maybe fresh investments into them. One thing more, and I have done that myself over years. At this time, a lot of us want to salvage whatever positions we have and book some profits to sit on some cash. It is not a wrong feeling. Now, what we all typically do is we look for positions we typically sort in our portfolio tracking on the profit part. Whatever is most profitable, which means there's money left on the table, 
we blindly sell it off at market rate and we stick to the positions which are in loss viable losses we'll sell them later on when we are back in profit whoever is doing that after one month or two months will see that whatever they sold which was profitable bounced back first that is why it was profitable and the ones which were in loss they are deeper into loss the divide between the two will actually increase when the markets recover so in the initial phase of recovery put your money on the stronger horses once they have run up a bit maybe book profits partial profits put on to the next set of horses and so on don't put the initial money on the weaker or speculative horses also this is probably not the last fall markets may recover tomorrow is expiry for this week finally on friday hopefully the circus around the stress test will get over one thing i strongly feel is sebi just like listed companies should announce up front what they are up to what they will do in the next day next week not just come in any day at any time do a press release announce something which will drive people like a retail crazy lakhs of crores worth of loss for the retail investors it is really really hurting retail bad i'm not here justifying the poor governance level of some of the nbfcs i'm not saying here that mutual funds who are letting investor invest blindly into small caps and mid caps they are right what i'm saying is all these actions should be taken in a manner where the retail is not hurt to the level it is getting hurt right now by these sudden reactions tomorrow i don't foresee anything different from today retail panic continues the fall may actually get bigger because right now there are no sellers and people are just dumping stocks on the street now if the dumping ends maybe or fias decide to buy then yes the buying could come back and there could be a sharp recovery also it will be up a lot or down a lot i don't think we'll see a stationary market for some time it will take time for the stability to come in so brace yourself for volatility